Guess what, the friends? I'm making crumble cookies at home. Mine are gonna be just as tasty, but have more protein. And I'm gonna make the semi-sweet chocolate chunk crumble cookie from this week's lineup. Basically, it's a chocolate chip cookie, but instead of the chips, it's filled with semi-sweet chocolate chunks and topped with a sprinkle of flaky sea salt. So, this is what you're gonna need. is 600 calories, 32 grams of fat, four grams of protein, and 76 grams of carbs. My version, 477 calories, 23 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, and 68 grams of carbs. So you're saving 123 calories, nine grams of fat, and eight grams of carbs, and adding 10 grams of protein per cookie. And the point of this video is I want a crumble cookie, but, it's a little high in calories. Also, I googled the closest one to my house. It's a 38 hour drive, <laughs> so we're not doing that. So I'm gonna make a lower calorie, higher protein version here, and this is what you need. A third cup of sweetener, this is the Great Value brand. One cup of sugar-free brown sugar. I'm using the Truvia brown sugar blend, and this does need to be packed. One cup of light margarine. I'm using Basel Light, it's my favorite one. Two large eggs. We're gonna blend them one at a time, so they should be separated and room temperature. And the bowls should be separated. Oh, like yeah, that. oh yeah. There if you touch them, don't do it. Uh, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm using pure vanilla. You can use whatever you have. Two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, whatever you can find like that. To bump up the protein and keep it lower calorie, I'm replacing some of the flour with protein powder. So we need one cup of protein powder. I'm going to use the Huddled HTLT Sups S'mores protein, and I think that the s'mores is gonna be the bee's knees in this cookie recipe. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off if you want to try this too and get this one. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of cornstarch, two and a half cups of chocolate chunks. I have two cups in this bowl to go in the recipe and half a cup to go on the top to make them cute. You don't have to do that, you can put them all in. And I'm using, these are the decadent chunks from Zares in Canada. And then some sort of sea salt. I couldn't find flaky sea salt, so I bought this grindy thing and I'm gonna do it myself. I have the oven preheated to 375 degrees. Put your rack in the middle. And then I have three cookie sheets lined because crumble cookies are really big. So we're gonna have to spread them out. We're gonna be making 12 large cookies. So the trays are lined with parchment paper and sprayed with cooking spray just to be sure that they won't stick. So what we're gonna do is take a large bowl and a hand mixer. You can use a stand mixer if you want. I just, um, I like using the hand mixer because it's less cleaning after. <laughs> we are going to beat the margarine and the sugars in this bowl. First, we're gonna beat the margarine until light and fluffy, so about a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna add the sweetener and the brown sugar blend, and I'm going to beat this for about three to five minutes until smooth and creamy. Okay, I'm halfway through. I'm gonna scrape the sides down to make sure all the ingredients get incorporated, and before I finish beating this up, I just wanted to say the other reason why I'm making this video is because Sassy and I have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for seven years. And on our journey, whenever we crave sweets or some sort of treat, we always were sure to give ourselves a low calorie version that was super tasty, that didn't sacrifice taste, because when we didn't, it would backfire and we would just end up overeating. So having low calorie versions like something like this crumble cookie really helped us stay on track and made it feel like we weren't dieting. Okay, now I'm gonna add one egg at a time and I'm gonna beat it in for one minute 
on medium speed. Okay, now I'm gonna scrape down the bowl and add the other egg. Other egg going in. Again, one minute on medium speed. Okay, now we're gonna mix in the vanilla and scrape down the sides. Now we're gonna put that to the side and mix the dry ingredients in a medium bowl. So we're gonna combine the flour, the protein powder, the salt, cornstarch, and the baking soda. And we're going to whisk that in until well combined. Okay, now we're gonna slowly mix in the dry ingredients. And we wanna go a little at a time and don't over mix. Just go until you don't see any more flour. Okay, we're gonna mix in the chocolate chunks. I'm gonna fold them in gently. Again, you don't wanna over mix this. And then we'll start scooping cookie batter. Oh yeah. Okay, the friends, this is a no-chill dough, but because we use margarine, the dough is a little softer, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it chill while I clean up the counter and get ready to scoop the cookies out. Okay, the dough's been chilling about five minutes. Now we're going to start the experiment. So you can use a large cookie scoop. I don't have one, so I'm gonna use a third cup. A third cup of dough, what you're supposed to do is put them two to three inches apart so that they, um, because they will spread a little bit. So you wanna make sure that they don't stick together. Okay, the friends, I ended up making 11 large cookies instead of 12, and I adjusted the calories, and that's already in the video, so we're good to go with that. The cookies are ready to go in the oven now. I'm going to bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes, and a couple of minutes before they're done, I'm gonna add the chocolate chips on the top and a sprinkle of the sea salt for each cookie. Bake them 10 to 12 minutes. Um, the edges should be just starting to brown and slightly firm in the middle. We don't wanna overcook these. They're gonna end up cooking a little more on the tray once they're cooling. And they're gonna go on the middle rack. So I'm gonna do two sheets first and then cook the last one just so they stay in the middle rack. Okay, the friends, it's just starting to brown. There's two minutes left out of 10. I'm gonna add some chunks now and then some sea salt and uh, put them back in for two minutes. Oopsie. Okay, we got the little sea salts grinded up here. I'm just gonna do a little sprink. And like a pinch, whatever you think to taste. There we go. Okay, put them back in for two. Okay, I pulled these out at 10 minutes. Again, 10 minutes, 375. Put the chocolate chips and sea salt on the last two minutes of baking. They are going to cool for 10 minutes on the tray, and then I'm gonna put them on a wire cooling rack to let them cool the rest of the way. And while these are cooling, I'm baking the other trays of cookies. These have finished cooling on the tray, so I'm moving them to the wire rack. I'm using a very thick spatula thinger to put them on there. And they transfer very well. <laughs> it's close if I close my eyes. <laughs> That's beautiful. Looks like <laughs> but it's perfect. <laughs> Get the ones, okay, what's the ones that are the most cool? They look so good and they smell amazing. Well, that looks great. So we'll just package these up for someone. Yep. Here, I'll just help a customer out with an order. <laughs> Here we are. There you are. Beautiful. You did a good oh, job. Oh, look at that. Welcome to Necrumble. Here's your order. Woo. All right, let's cut this cookie in half and see what it looks like. Um, we're going oh. for ooey gooey and it is ooey gooey. Yeah. Okay, so. That looks so good. That is what it looks like. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. Wow, really good chocolate chunks have really good flavor. I can taste the salt a little bit actually brings the flavor out. For a protein cookie, like, you will never guess that it's a protein cookie. I will, because I watched this video. <laughs> 
So the friends, if you enjoyed this recipe, we have a guilt-free cookbook. Link is down below, along with the links for my weight loss eBooks. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% and you can get tasty recipes like this that don't sacrifice taste, but they are lower calories, so you can get lean, but not me. Ooh. All right, cuties, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't for more cute content like this. Keep watching more vids to see all the cool tips. Catch you in the next one, cutie. Peace. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.